Hi there! So this is going to be a bit of a different video, as, as per usual, where I'm usually sitting uh, over here where my set is. This is actually where I, I do all my editing now. For today's Scream 5 update, we're going to be doing something a little different. You know, we, I'm always sitting in this room talking about, like, little updates I see on the internet. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sick of that, though. I decided I'm going to drive 11 hours to Wilmington, North Carolina to get some answers to our burning questions. I've been trying to get, like, an interview with somebody, something, uh, not, nothing so far, but I I will. I'm going to all these locations. We are going to be filming a scene at one of these areas for a part of the fan film, by the way, which is going to be also really exciting. But I kind of want to just show you guys around all the actual locations where they filmed this new Scream 5 film, and maybe we can come up with some theories along the way. I leave Saturday morning. It is currently Thursday evening. I just posted that last Scream 5 update. You probably saw it two days ago, or actually by the time this is posted, like over a week ago. Uh, <laughs> But let's do a jump cut to Saturday morning, shall we? Before I left, I wanted to say goodbye to my parents. Goodbye, Mom and Dad. Goodbye, <laughs> my lovely Dude, son. What, did you go to bed early? Did you get enough sleep? No, but that's okay. Oh my god, are you filming? Yeah, I'm uh, documenting everything. I'm in my underwear. You have some really nice underwear, Doug. Bye, Mom! Please. Can you hear me? Is it too loud? <laughs> I can hear you, my son. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? It is uh, currently four in the morning. I just pulled up to Matt's house right now. I'm about to call him and we are on our way to North Carolina. Instead of friends, I have horror movie locations. It was a long and crazy trip all the way to North Carolina. We ended up getting lost going down these like crazy back roads, places I had never even like seen or knew existed. And I also found out that Matt doesn't drive on the highway shortly after filming this clip. What's up? What's up guys, welcome back to Ghost Face Vlogs. I'm filming my new movie here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Having an absolute blast. I'm gonna show you my awesome hotel room in just a second here. All right, yeah, so here is the hotel room. I'm just vibing, going, having a great time. Just part, oh Jesus, Michael, what are you doing in here, dog? Say something, Michael. Say something. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, dog, I'm filming my movie here. Get the hell out. What are you talking about? I'm filming my movie here. Hey man, I got a prime slot in October, all right? Your movie's not coming out till January. Hey, man. it's still gonna be good, man. I'm relaunching my franchise here. Give me a break. You're already doing so well. Bro, get out of my hotel room or I swear to God, I'm gonna slap you, dog. No, man. I was here first, all right? I all paid. I paid for this three-star hotel, all right? All right, man. All right, look. You asked for it. Dude, what, what, are, you, what are you doing, man? Gee, dude, dude. Dude, dude, come on. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so this is the house where supposedly the opening scene for Scream 5 was filmed. The location was part of a nightmare sequence that was entirely shot in complete secrecy until September 24th. They've returned for additional filming in here on November 13th on a Friday. Now, fans of the series, including myself, think that the house represents Casey Becker's house, which is why I'm speculating that the opening kill is going to be taking place here. Now, it's kind of creepy we're filming someone's house, so let's get the fuck out of here. So on September 28th, production moved here to Williston Middle School. If you can actually see those stairs over there, you might have seen a picture of that, like from set photos or whatever. Um, on If you go to that uh, Hello City com article that I was talking about you can actually see a picture of those stairs well unfortunately we can't go over there because uh, well Matt if you want to <laughs> if you want to get a shot of that sign I don't feel like getting in trouble today or prosecuted so when they were filming here they uh, brought all these like uh, like news cars like cop fake cop cars and stuff for like uh, the town of Woodsboro I'm assuming on this street like there was a bunch of like news cars news vehicles cop cars maybe like Gail Weathers was here doing some kind of reporting because maybe there was a killing here or something so like that's really interesting to think about uh, so theories there might have been like a murder at the high school we could see a scene possibly like in the first scream where uh the um the principal who is of course played by henry winkler gets murdered maybe there's a scene like that very similar uh in this new film so on september 29th to early october they were filming here at cardinal lanes with jack quaid and melissa barrera whose characters actually work here this uh actually this image right here might look pretty familiar to you there was that set picture of jack quaid standing right where i am right now where he was talking about he was uh, here in his uniform and all all that him and Melissa Barrera's character work here I already said that um, this is pretty interesting though this whole place like it looks a little run down it looks like it's going to be like a really interesting shot hopefully we can get Ghostface running across like some bowling alley lanes or something that would be a really cool like chase scene in here oh my god it's Jack Quaid whoa he's here guys look it's him it's the star of Scream 5 don't run away 
<laughs> All right, so this little intersection here, uh, hillocindy.com wasn't exactly super specific on what was filmed here. I believe some of these trees, if you get like over here, Matt. You have arrived. <laughs> Thank you, Google Maps. So I believe uh, these shots right here, this is where we saw uh, Gail Weathers in that one set photo. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that this is what this is. Um, it wasn't too specific in the article, but uh, like just looking at this, it looks just like that set photo we got. Maybe over there too uh, might have been it. Like all around this little, this whole little area was definitely uh, in a set of photo I saw with uh, Courtney Cox. So we are at the ILA Union, and this is apparently what the building that they turned into Woodsboro Police Department. So we'll probably be seeing shots of Dewey, David Arquette's character, around here. Uh, there's also a gigantic no loitering sign, so I don't want to be getting in trouble or pissing anybody off. So as you can see right here, we got a little, little, the sign's a little old and shit. But there's like signs of like Woodsboro Police Department on there. I'll put, be putting uh, set pictures up with this. Like I said, probably David Arquette's character is going to be here. I'm not sure with uh, who of our new friends is going to be there with him. The place is kind of creepy though, to tell you what. Perfect place for a horror movie. Oh yeah. Let's go loitering now. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> right here, this is where uh, Marley Shelton's character is going to be doing some kind of driving sequence, and there was some kind of like stunt done here as well. She might get into like some kind of accident. Judy Hicks's character, I mean, Marley Shelton's okay. I, don't, I didn't mean she got into an accident, but um, uh, Judy Hicks' character might get into like some kind of car crash here or something. Maybe she's getting attacked by Ghostface in the car. There has been speculation. Is there a fucking plane right Dude, above us? Look, film this. Oh my god, that was so weird. I, I got so it sounded like I was scraping something. Like it sounded yeah. like I yeah. drove over something and it was like scraping I thought it was something, something in your car. Yeah. No, a, a bunch of like Air Force, uh, like what are those AC 130s? Is that what they're called? Just flew over us and it was terrifying. Jesus. So this is where Sydney Prescott goes in the movie to buy her uh, Delta 8, you know, that sticky icky kush. I'm, I'm just kidding, that doesn't happen. Or does it? Okay, okay, I I really wanted to get an interview with this guy, but he just said he didn't he didn't want to be in the video, so I, I'll respect his wishes. But I just walked into this place over here, this uh, the CBD place, and I was just making a joke about. And so he specifically said that um, that Halloween Kills was filmed in front of this place. Now I'm not BSing you. I wish like I know there's been all these rumors about like oh hey Scream Five and the new Halloween Kills shared a location. There's been that rumor. He just said that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was filming outside of their place and that uh, she actually petted one of the dogs of the, uh, the guys that works there. That's what he said. That's, uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny that that actually happened, but that's just what this guy told me. He said he didn't want to be in the video, you know, respect his wishes. But uh, holy fuck, that's really exciting. That would be so cool if that was true and we figured that out. Um, I don't know. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt, but that might, may or may not have happened. Guess we'll find out this October. We'll find out this October, right? Gotta keep that in. <laughs> Pretend you're a captain. Just do it. Go for it. I am the most interesting man. The least interesting man in the world. <laughs> there was some kind of scenario right here on Chestnut Street where uh, Courtney Cox was filming as Gail Weathers again. This might actually be where that set photo was taken from. Like I said, I'm, I looked at the photos last night and I'm kind of just doing this from memory because I've been driving this whole time. So I believe uh, right here there was another shot with Courtney Cox, maybe that same scene, but I'm pretty sure that last, uh, the place with all the trees was where that set photo was taken that I'm thinking of. Um, but right down this road there was, uh, I'll pull down here. Uh, so this is where some shots with Courtney Cox were filmed, which is kind of cool. It's a cool little little alleyway here. I'm hoping maybe some kind of chase scene was taken down here. It looks it's a little creepier and like uh, secluded. Perfect place for like a uh, ghost face to possibly do some killing. So filming took place here at Reggie's Bar, which says beer, bands, and booze. I, I like that little, another Dalmatian. I've been noticing so many Dalmatians around this town. I love it. Filming took place here October 20th. Nothing super crazy. It's kind of a cool little like side little middle of nowhere bar though. I kind of like it. It's like almost like a dive, you know? It's, yeah. it's kind of dope. So a little bit of an extra scoop here, guys. This is where Willy's Wonderland was filmed. Willy's Wonderland was created when John Wonderland decided to wander his land backwards. With his Willy. With his... <laughs>
So we are officially at like our last location here. This is where Sam, Tara, and Richie will be entering the town of Woodsboro. This is like kind of like the, I guess the entrance of the town. There's a sequence where all three of them come to town at one point. I'm assuming there's that like description where it says that uh, like a woman comes home to Woodsboro because of some murders. So I'm assuming it's going to be um, those three characters coming into Woodsboro, maybe at the beginning of the movie. That's just a theory, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna take a little slower because man, this is just gorgeous. You see the tops of those trees, man? Yeah, dude. That's sweet. This is like where the fucking Brachiosaurus was in that one movie from 1993. Oh, Cretaceous Amusement World? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that. That is the last shot. There's So, there's some other locations uh, on that list, but like, it's just like studio, it's like side studios. We're not gonna be able to get to see anything really cool that you're gonna see in the movie. So thank you all for watching this crazy video on my trip to Wilmington, North Carolina. I had so much fun just making this video with Matt and uh, just editing this now. And we filmed so much funny stuff. I've just been cracking up all day making this. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, if you support me on Patreon, I'll be able to do stuff like this all the time. If you support me on Patreon, I can do even crazier stuff in the future. Thank you all again so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.